Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at Car and Motorhomes and Caravans who kindly allow us to come and film. I'm going to be reviewing this, it's the Compact Supreme SC and you may remember last year I reviewed the Compact Supreme DL. If you want to see that one I'll put a link below. So the Compact Supreme SC new for 2021, what do we need to know about it? Well, as the name suggests, it is a compact motorhome. And although it is seven meters in length, it's only 2.1 meters in width, hence the name compact. And this is a great layout and a really good motorhome. The height of this is two meters and 75 centimeters. And as we can see, it's on the Fiat Ducato. Engine wise, it's going to give you a 2.3 litre diesel engine, it's a Euro 6D and standard it's going to come with 140 brake horsepower. You can as an optional extra upgrade to 160 brake horsepower if you wish. It comes with a manual gearbox but again automatic is an option. What we'll do next is we'll venture down the offside and take a look at what we're going to get down there. The front's fairly standard, we've got the silver cab, we've got the silver sides. It's worth noting that the Compact Supreme SC starts at £57,400, but this one that we're looking at today has the Lux Pack and Pack 2. So we're going to be looking at about £63,400 for this one here. Extra on this at the front, we're going to find the fog lights. So, coming down this offside, first of all, we've got the alloy wheels, they're part of the pack, they're 16 inches. We're going to have electrically operated and heated wing mirrors, and we've got electric windows on both the driver and passenger side. Coming down, we see that we've got on the Supreme the silver cab and the silver sides, as I mentioned. If you get this in the Plus, the Plus will have the white sides but you can have the silver cab. The decals for 2021, they remain in the graphite grey, which I do like. We find the habitation door on the right hand side, standard across the Adria range and most European motorhomes. If you wanted, you could have an electric step fitted. We do have a window as well to look out and inside there is a blind for that. Above, you're going to notice here this large two-lay wind-out canopy. That's part of one of the packs as well, included in that £63,000 price tag. We've got the extractor fan vent, we've got the LED awning light, and we've got a window looking into the motorhome here. Coming down, we find the window that's going to overlook the bed. Now, this, bed, this motorhome has a rear island bed and we'll see more when we go inside. We're going to find our water points here. Now this is the water filler and above it we're going to find the 12 volt. So if you're on a site where you're wanting to use an aqua roll as opposed to go to a water point, you'd put your aqua roll there, use a 12 volt pump and feed the motorhome with water. The Compact Supreme SC has a huge fresh water tank, 140 litres. Waste water is going to take 85 litres and that is insulated. Moving on, we're going to get the garage. Now the garage on the SC is an excellent size. It's situated under that island bed. It goes all the way through and there's plenty of room for your pedal cycles or tables and chairs and all the bits you're going to want to take in the motorhome. The rear of the Compact Supreme SC, I can't fully get to the back to show you, but it does have obviously the silver back. We've got the Camos reversing camera, which is part of the pack. And we have pre-installation for the bike rack. So that's the rear of the Supreme. What we'll do now is we'll venture around and take a closer look at the near side of the motorhome. So I'll see you around on the near side. So coming down the near side, we're going to find here our filler for obviously diesel. And we're also going to find uh, the Add Blue in here. Now this has a 19 litre Add Blue tank on it because it is the Euro 6D engine. 
Here's our electric point. I do like that on the near side. I prefer it so it's not impeding when I'm using my awning or sitting out on that side. Coming further down, we see we have got a further window and then we've got the vent for the Truma Airblown Central Heating. We've also then got our toilet cassette point. There's no flush because the flush does fill from the onboard fresh water tank. Just finishing off on the near side, we then have another window into the bedroom. We've got our gas locker and this will take two 11 kilogram gas bottles, so plenty of gas if you're off gridding or heading over to Europe. And then we've got another door into the garage area. So that summarises the outside. It's worth noting just up on the roof, you can have a solar panel fitted as an extra option. And we do have pre-installation for satellite and for Truma air conditioning. So there we go, that's the outside. I will just mention payload because I don't think I covered that when I started. The payload on the Supreme SC is 563 kilograms, so a very good payload. And it is a three and a half ton motorhome. So obviously you can drive that on your normal driver's license. You just need your B category. So it's a good motorhome for everybody. So come on, let's go inside and see what we're getting in there. So we've come inside the SC. Now the SC is a whole new layout for 2021. The compact range already has the DL, the SP and the SL. And this adds to it an island bed. It's still seven metres in length, which does make it great for visiting locations when you're touring. We'll start with the cab first of all. Now some of the bits I'll go through are part of the extras pack. But first of all, we have the two captain's chairs with armrests. They both do swivel and they have got the nice new colour scheme for 2021. I do prefer this darker leather. The side windows and the front windscreen do have blinds that pull across for privacy and for on an evening. The steering wheel on this, without being part of the extras pack, it is leather and the leather gear knob as well. And as I say, that can be in a nine speed auto. Part of the extras pack, we're going to get cruise control, we're going to get air conditioning, and we're going to find as well traction control and hill descent. We also find as part of the extras, the cup holders below and the satellite navigation system. The rear view Camos camera will also play up here as well. So it's all going on up front. In terms of lighting and storage in this area, we've got plenty of lights dotted around and we also have little storage compartments above that are quite practical. One thing you may notice is the huge sunroof on the compact. And this is one of the features I really liked when I reviewed the DL last year. We have the huge front sunroof here, letting lots of light in. And then just behind it, there's a very large hecky light as well. So that's a great addition to this motorhome. We have got USB chargers. We have one up front here, which we can use when we're driving. And then when we're using the habitation area, there's some USB chargers up here and also a plug socket too. So that's absolutely fantastic. The lounge area, as well as having these two chairs here, we also find the sofa there. It's only a short one and we don't find it in an L shape, but it's absolutely fine for the two people that this motorhome will sleep. To complement the lounge area, we find the white table and it does also have a slide out part here for if somebody's sat in this seat eating. You can move this table backwards and forwards to give you more room and above we find the white storage lockers. Now I do like this gloss white finish in here and it's, it works well with the cappuccino walls as well. So it is light and bright, which is great because with it being compact, it could feel a little bit small, but it doesn't because of how airy it is. So what we'll do now is we'll venture into the kitchen area of the SC. So I'll see you over there. So over into the kitchen area and here we've got the habitation door from the inside. It does have a bin in it and a nice blind as well. Above that door is where we're going to find the motorhome control panel. And I've used that myself on a matrix and it is really easy to use. 
Uh, we've also got the control for the Truma air blown heating and that's also going to heat our hot water for us. I just mentioned that above me is where the Hecky light is. Now I have mentioned before in a motorhome that one thing I struggled with was reaching to be able to open and close them and what I do like on the compact range is that they actually have the handle that pulls down and you rotate it so even if you're small like me you can still use these and, and I do like that feature. Going into the kitchen area itself now we're going to find we've still got the white worktop surface that we see on some of the other models and we've got the Dometic three gas burner hob they don't use electric which is standard across the Adria range above the hob we're going to find the extractor for if you're doing some cooking we've got a plug socket for kettles toters, toasters and coffee machines and we've also got an, a light switch here which will illuminate this light under there above we do have two good sized cupboards there on the push latch this is a completely open cupboard space and in this one we find a shelf there's no microwave in the compact below the cupboards we're going to find the sink now the sink comes with the cover which you can use as worktop space and this is also a chopping board as well and then to the side we've just got a small shelf the window we do find a blind and a fly screen. Below the Dometic gas burners we're going to find a dual oven and grill gas Thetford appliance. It's at a good height, no problem using that and although it's quite a narrow motorhome there's still plenty of room between the sofa and the oven itself. Below that we're going to find this excellent slide out drawer I really like that feature. Sometimes when they just fold down, you then find you're struggling to get underneath at these lower levels. The draw makes it a lot easier, so I do like that feature. As we come across under the sink, this is where we're now going to find our cutlery trays and we're going to also find the controls for the gas if you need to isolate your gas. Again, nice drawers, slide out feature. And the cutlery tray is actually screwed in here as well, so it's not going to move around when you're driving about in the motorhome. Below that, we're going to find one more slide out drawer. Again, plenty of room for various bits and pieces. So kitchen space is very good for a, a smaller two berth motorhome. To complement the kitchen, we're going to find the Thetford fridge and freezer. Now this is 87 litres and as you can see it's only sort of what I would call a half tower because underneath we're going to find some storage and I'll just explain this first of all for a reason because in this model standard we find we get this storage cupboard and it actually goes all the way back under there and it, I think that is a particularly good storage space um, so as the motorhome comes as standard it would be like that. That as I say will give us this 87 litres of fridge and freezer. The freezer compartment is only quite small, it's not got a particular depth to it. The shelves are good and we've got slide out trays underneath. What you can have as an option, and this is why I show you the storage first, if you want a larger fridge and freezer unit, you can, as an option, get a, a further tower which would remove this cupboard here but give you more fridge freezer space, which that might be important to you. And for me personally, I'd probably have to have a think about which way I went with that um, because I do like my fridge and freezer. What I'll do next is I'm going to move back into the bedroom and show you that before coming to the bathroom and washroom which is over here on the near side. So I'll venture back here into the bedroom and we'll see a little bit more in there. So the bedroom of the SC, we find this large double bed. It's six foot four in total length when it's slid out and it's four foot seven in width, so a good size bed. We have LEDs above the bed, which also have USB chargers. And then we've got storage cupboards above and small wardrobes to each side. 
as you can see there's not a great deal of headroom but I am stood on one of the higher tiers and these are what you'll use to climb up to get into the bed. If you were to stand on the lower part of the floor you obviously get a lot more headroom. Over here now this is on the off side of the bedroom wall we're going to find our TV bracket and this will swing out as well for watching television up in the cab. We're going to find the 12 volt, a plug socket and also the satellite as well as some light switches. In the bedroom we find nice nets as well as opposed to curtains and we do have a privacy screen here which is going to slide around and close at the other side of the bathroom. So a good sized bedroom, great sized bed and last but not least we're going to have a look in the bathroom so I'll see you just over there. So in the bathroom of the SC, during the day you can leave this open to give it more room. This screen, if you unhook the catch here, is going to slide across and close on this side, giving that degree of, pr of privacy. We do have a nice sink and tap and we've got the mirror here as well for if you're brushing your teeth or shaving. We get in here a good size cupboard and some shelving as well and below that we're going to find a swivel toilet. Now unusually the swivel toilet below it's actually a Dometic product which I haven't seen many of so it's a Dometic swivel toilet. If you're wondering where the shower is I will step out and show you how that operates. So the shower screen is a very clever feature of Adria. The screen comes across, closes there and that's then going to leave you with this nice shower, a great light as well. We've obviously got the hecky for ventilation and that's going to be our shower unit. We do have two plugs in there as well to assist with the drainage of water. So that's the shower cubicle. What we'll do next is we'll just do a quick summary back up front and then that'll be it, the SC. So I'll see you back in my captain's chair. So there we have it, the Adria Compact Supreme SC, new for 2021. It's a good three and a half ton motorhome, seven metres long, and it'll certainly be usable for touring. So realistically on this, I think you're looking around £63,000 with the extras pack, but it is a very well equipped motorhome when you add all those bits on, and it is a premium brand. I'd just like to say thank you to Car Remote Homes and Caravans for allowing us to film in a sterile environment today. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.